Well, I decided that I wanted to see if I could take these vases and turn them into something along with this Dollar Tree sign. I wanted to make some decor and look at that. I was able to make some really fun decor, super easy and super affordable in a weekend. I have been wanting to do something like this for so long and I finally was able to do it and it was so easy. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show you how I did it and show you how easy it is and so you can do it too. Just goes away and things are clear to say. Oh, baby. All right, so I have these vases this tiny glass one, this big one that looks like a really pretty leaf. Ooh, this one looks like it has roses on it. And then this little guy. So I wanted to make these over so that I can use them all the time in my decorating. And I thought I would try to see if I could make this vase look like it's wrapped in rope. So I just took some twine and using my hot glue gun, I just secured the twine to the little vase. Now the most difficult part was starting this out. So I did use hot glue around each of the four sides of this little vase as I wrapped it around. And I was very careful just to make sure I got it just at the very base of the little vase. Haha, <laughs> I made a rhyme. So once I had it started, then I just carefully wrapped that twine all the way around the vase. And it was a little time consuming and I did use my hot glue gun as I worked my way up, not all the way around the vase, but every few turns I would apply a little bit more hot glue to keep it being wound up tightly and so that I was sure it would stay in place. And I just continued this process all the way to the top of the vase. Now when I did get closer to the very tippy top of the vase, I did use a little bit more hot glue more frequently to make sure that the twine was going to stay wrapped around the vase. And around the top edge, this was a little bit tricky, but I did put hot glue all the way around it and then I secured the twine. adorable and this part of this project is so easy so I just took some satin finish spray paint and I spray painted the other three vases this white satin color I really like that satin finish it doesn't look too glossy and I really like how it picks up the pattern of each of these vases that is one thing that I really like about doing my own decorator projects is spray paint. Spray paint is so helpful and you can really transform something just with a can of spray paint. I even spray painted the twine to make it look more white. I really like how you can see the detail of each of those bases.
All right, so while my vases were drying, I came back inside and I had this little sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm pretty sure you can tell I got it at Valentine's Day. So I went ahead and removed that paper XOXO and I really like the size of this. So I'm gonna make this into a little tiny succulent garden. So I just had these little wooden beads and I just attached a wooden bead to each corner of the bottom of the frame. And the wooden beads on the bottom will be like the feet, which will help to give this an elevated appearance and not make it look like a picture frame. So then I took it outside and I had this spray paint and I wasn't gonna use it for anything else. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this spray paint for my little succulent garden. So this is the container of the garden itself. And I thought this color would look pretty against the green of the succulents. And it doesn't matter that there's still a little bit of that material that's left in the center of the frame because it's gonna be covered up. So that is not a big deal. And once that was dry, I brought it back inside Look at how cute that is. I'm really happy with that. And I have this little box of succulents because they're just succulents that I've been collecting. So I just went through and found some that I thought would look really nice as a part of a succulent garden. And then I just kind of trimmed the bottoms off so that it would make it easier for me to attach them to my garden box. And that's all I need for this project. So then I just went ahead and started playing with the different succulent pieces for my little display. And that is why I really enjoy making projects like this. It's kind of odds and end pieces that I have and a lot of them I get from other projects. So a project like this was very cost effective. I don't think it really cost me anything, but it gave me something to do on a rainy weekend. And here are my beautiful little vases. They are all nice and dry. I really like how they turned out. And even the twine covered one. So then I had these greenery pieces and I believe I got this one at the home store. It's kind of like home goods and places like that. But I got these and I hadn't really used them for anything. So I was like, you know what? These would be perfect for my little vases. I just want to have greenery. Isn't that cute? And I had the same thing with these little fern fronds and I just kind of separated them out and then put them into one of the vases as well. I thought it would look really nice with that vase that almost looks like it has like a leaf pattern on it. And there's another floral vase. And then I had these, and I believe I got this greenery at Hobby Lobby when it was on clearance. I like to get things when it's on clearance, and then I just collect things. So it's really nice to be able to actually make something out of the pieces that I bought. Look at how cute that is. And then here is some baby's breath. And again, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna cut off those pieces of baby's breath. And then I'm just gonna put them into my little teeny vase. And if you enjoy making your own projects, making your own decor, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel because that is what I do. These are the type of videos that I make. And if you are a DIY type person like me, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like these videos. And here are all of my projects and they are actually being used right now in my home decorating. I really like the simplicity of the white and the green along with a little bit of some black and gold accents on these shelves that I have by my front door. Like I said, super cute, super affordable and super easy. And then I have my adorable little succulent garden net I was able to make Pretty easy and pretty cheap too. I cannot wait to show you what I have coming up in my next video.